Hi, my name is Jonathan Turner, and I'm the Program Manager here at Microsoft on the TypeScript team. In this video, I'll be talking about TypeScript and Angular 2. The video is broken into three parts. First, I'll give a quick introduction, showing off the latest version of TypeScript and how it works with the Angular 2 project. After that, I'll show a demo where you can see how this works in practice. Finally, I'll be giving you some resources where you can learn more. In this video, though, I'll also be using some experimental features, so make sure you're using the most up-to-date documentation. Okay, let's dive in. TypeScript has three features that really make it work well with modern libraries like Angular 2. The first one is classes, so you can use your own object-oriented programming style in a class-based syntax. Next, you can use modules to break your code up. This modules come from a standard ES6 module syntax, allowing you to work in one standard syntax and support a wide range of modules. You may be familiar with this if you've done some AMD or Node programming before. Finally, you can also use decorators. Decorators allow you to separate your concerns, so you can define your class and all of its properties, and then separate out how that class is configured and how it connects to, for example, its data sources. The separation of concerns allow you a much cleaner way of working with your code. So let's talk a bit about Angular 2 and how that works with TypeScript. First, Angular 2 is built on the modern JavaScript. So these are the, the features like classes and modules that we were talking about before. The, these features, of course, come from the ES6 standard, the one that was recently st standardized. This allows you to write more modular code and more object-oriented code. And also, because you can use things like decorators, it allows you to use features from future versions of JavaScript today in a nice, clean API that compiles down to very standardized uh, JavaScript. So let's take a look at a demo. So here we have our demo application. The demo is split into three TypeScript files and one HTML file. Let's run this demo real quick and see what we have. Now that our demo is started, you can see that it's very simple. On the left-hand side, we're drawing the WAV files. On the right-hand side, we can select which WAV file gets drawn. Now that we've seen the demo, let's actually make some steps to see if we can move this TypeScript project to being an Angular 2 project. The first thing we need to do is import the Angular 2 module. You can see I'm importing the Angular 2 module here. And from that, I have four components that I've imported from that module. Component, view, ng4, and bootstrap. You may wonder where these come from. I've also gone ahead and downloaded the Angular 2 typings from definitely type. This file has a lot of type information about the Angular 2 project. It describes the full public API. Because we have this, we now have all that we need to start working with an Angular 2 application. Next, I'm going to replace the function that I have called update selection with a class so that we begin building our custom component for working in Angular 2. Now that I have my class and my functionality for updating the selection, the next thing I need to do is to describe how to build my custom component. We do this by using a decorator. Again, the decorator allows us to separate our concerns. Here we've described that this class will act as the file list custom component. And then we describe in the view how to draw that custom component. Here you can see we're using an HTML select. And in that select, we're drawing an option for each one of the items that are in our class. We can see the items below as a string array. Now that we've done this, we are almost ready. Because this decorator feature is an experimental feature, we have to make sure that our project is set up for handling the experimental feature. So let's do a quick look. We do this by unloading the project, editing the project, and looking to make sure that the experimental feature is turned on. Here you see I've done this ahead of time. TypeScript experimental decorators is set to true. As long as that's set to true in your project, 
you'll be able to use these experimental features. Now that I've reloaded my project, we're almost ready to go. The last thing that I need to do is to change my HTML so that I can properly load the Angular 2 module, and then I can replace the built-in select. Here you can see we've hard-coded all those WAV files. We're going to replace that with our custom component. So let's do that first part. Here we're replacing the call to require.js with the scripts that will actually call the Angular 2 module. And finally, we replace this select element with our custom file list component. You can see that the system.js module loader here is handling loading the modules for us. With all those steps, we're now able to build our first Angular 2 application. Now we've built our full Angular 2 application in TypeScript. Here are some helpful resources if you'd like to learn more. In the first link, you can find the demo that I just showed. You can also go to the typescriptlang.org website, which is the main website for the TypeScript project. And finally, you can go to the GitHub site and interact with the team directly. Again, my name is Jonathan Turner. Happy coding.